It's time now for a period show, 3 o'clock news for this. Tuesday afternoon, February 24th, 2015. Good afternoon and evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. 3 o'clock news at 9 there. And our top story at 3 o'clock here is a commuter train crashed through a truck and drill Tuesday, injuring dozens of people in a farmland northwest of Los Angeles. No federal civil rights charges in Trayvon Martin case. RNC Communications Director Sean Spicer issued a statement on Tuesday criticizing the media for what he perceived an unbalanced coverage of controversial remarks by former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani made last week. Seeking respite from the enduring cold, 19 manatees crawled hundreds of yards into an underground pipe as rescuers said it took a village and an Air Force base to rescue the hefty beasts. Just days away from a potential shutdown in the Department of Homeland Security, Obama administration officials are warning of the dire impacts of what could happen if the agency loses funding at midnight on Friday. Islamic State militants kidnapped 90 Christians in northeast Syria as the jihads retreated in the face of Kurdish counteroffensive. A martyr group has said a gunman opened fire in a restaurant in the Czech town of U.S. Gate Broad Tuesday, killing eight people and wounded one before fatally shooting himself. Kiev claims that the Ukrainian port it is next on the list of targets of Russia-backed rebels who argue that they have no plans to attack the city. Potoskim, Nigeria. Teenage suicide bombers suspected to be Boko Haram extremists killed at least 24 people in separate blasts Tuesday at a crowded bus stop. Three missing teenagers believed to be headed to join Islamic State militants are fucked to have crossed into Syria, UK police said. A man in New Tennessee of 40s and tried to in Dyked in connection with the kidnapping and killing of a nurse and student that's committed suicide as attorney told CNN on Tuesday. Michael Drennan, like a longtime spokesman for Chris Christie, whose profane tussles with reports came to light, is leaving the New Jersey administration. New York. U.S. equities rose and bond yields fell after the U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen said on Tuesday that it would be several months after, before the Fed expects to boost the interest rates while European equity markets are gained after Greece locked. Home prices in the Seattle metro area jumped 1.2% in December from the previous month, one of the strongest gains in the nation, according to S&P Case Shield 20 City Index release on Tuesday. Apple CEO Tim Cook today commemorated the late friend and company co-founder Steve Jobs on what would have been his 60th birthday. The Dance Winter Star has officially unveiled its lineup of celebrity contestants for its 20th season set to kick off March 16th on the cast was revealed on Good Morning America on Tuesday morning. Tom Ruffman has landed the chairman post of the Sony Pictures Entertainment Motion Pictures Group while Michael Linton has re-upped as chairman of CEO of SBE and of CEO of Sony Entertainment as Surya said on Tuesday. Parks and Recreation Take a look at U.S. stock market report there. Dow 18.213.97 up 97.13. SP 521.15.25 up 5.59. NASDAQ 49.65.67 up 4.70. Black rats may not have been to blame for numerous outbreaks of the bubonic plague across Europe, as studies suggest. Scientists believe report epidemics of a black death which arrived in Europe in the mid 14th century. Instead of trace back to dribbles, it doesn't take a team of physicists to figure out the forming liquids are less splish splashy than those without bubbles. One team of physicists did try to figure out why, as why a coffee is more likely to spill than a latte. Scientific tests have revealed that an ancient Buddhist statue contains a perfect proof of the remains of a 1,000-year-old mummified monk in what is believed to be the only such example in the world. Peanut allergy, an occasionally life friendly condition that has prompted changes in the food conception rules everywhere, from preschool to airlines, can be sharply reduced by feeding peanut protein to children at risk for the condition beginning. A blind man from Minnesota has described his joy at seeing his wife for the first time in a decade after doctors fitted him with a bionic eye implant. Take a look at New England Instant Alerts here at 3.05. Rivervale, New Jersey. Firefighter spot a detached garage fire early this afternoon. A 38-year-old Springfield 
resident was stabbed in the leg Monday night has died from his wounds. In Kenya, New Hampshire, at 317 South Road, a structure fire, third alarm, all hands are working. And a fire at this time. And Bolton, Massachusetts, a tip report, a truck to trail, rollover on 495 southbound. In sports news, ESPN has bench anchor Keith Olbermann from hosting his show for the rest of his week following comments he made on Twitter regarding Penn State University. On Sunday evening, an injured Kobe Bryant co hosted ESPN's Grantland Basketball Hour with Bill Simmons and Jalen Rosen on it. The trio talked to town about Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Tonight, the Boston Bruins be at the TD Garden tonight, taking on the Vancouver Canucks, while the Norton Lancers hockey team will be down at Gallo Ice Arena for the MIAA Preliminary Boys South 3A Hockey Playoff Game against the Southeastern Regional Hawks. Game time, 6.15 p.m. down at Gallo Ice Arena in Bourne, Massachusetts. Peter Chell News on 306, and it is time now for a travel report here on this. Tuesday afternoon going to the Tuesday evening here. And it sh shows 495 is backed up from Route 2 and Lillison all the way down to Bolton due to the structure tra trailer rollover. In Bolton, overturned vehicle, two lanes blocking Route 495 southbound for exit 27. Route 117 in Bolton, a stop and go traffic from Route exit 28, Route 111 in Bucksburg. Southeast Expressway and the southbound side is slow from the Furnace Brook all the way down for the split. Southeast Express and the northbound side is backed up from Quincy all the way down through the Tippin' Hill Tunnel here. Southeast Express and the southbound side is backed up from the bike all the way down for Dorchester. 129 the southbound side is slow from Grove Street and Newton all the way up to Route to the Great Plain Avenue in Near Mayor. Route 129 on the northbound side slow from 2A in Lexington all the way down through Route 3 in Burlington due to an accident on 120 on the northbound side between 225 and Route 3. So expect some delays there. And we got an accident up on the main turnpike here in Kittery. So it's slow from the New Hampshire border all the way down through York, Maine. Here's so expect some delays there. Otherwise, you're good to go on this Tuesday afternoon going into Tuesday evening here. And take a look at the MBTA. Green Line experienced a minor westbound delays due to a disabled train at Park Street. Green Line East service suspended between Brigham Circle and Heath Street. Please use Route 39 bus for service between Brigham Circle and Heath Street. And Green Line D branch service will be at Park Street. Trace it first. Service will be Please board at Park Street. And the Red Line LY Parking Garage. Please advise that the LY Parking Garage is currently capacity closed in incoming customers. And in Silver Line, bus routes are experienced moderate to severe delays due to very heavy traffic issues. On the Fairmount Line, commuter train 762, 2 p.m. from Reedville, delayed today due to an earlier mechanical problem. Franklin Line train 713, 2 40 p.m. from South Station, delayed today due to an earlier mechanical problem, 15 20 minute delay. And in Providence, Thornton Line train 809, 1 45 p.m. from South Station, delayed today due to an earlier mechanical problem, about 15 to 20 minute delay. Peter Chell News on 308, 10 half for a weather report, and we are under a winter weather advisory as a probable snowfall expected across eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island Lake tonight, but most of it will be over by the start of the Wednesday morning rush hour as winter weather advisory is effective from 10 p.m. this evening to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. Here, locations eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island, this includes the cities of Boston and Providence, as well as surrounding towns. Hazard types accumulated in snow and accumulation of 2 to 5 inches of snow has totals likely between the Cape Cod Canal northwest to the I 95 corridor. Snow comes on showing to southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island coast between 10 p.m. and midnight. Then over spreads the remainder of Rhode Island and eastern Massachusetts. The heaviest snow falls between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Then exits eastern Massachusetts by between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Impact snow cover roads and poor visibility snowfall rates may briefly reach or exceed 1 inch per hour. But the snow will be over by the Wednesday morning rush hour, but untreated roads will be snow covered. Precaution prepares actions at winter weather provides the residual when snow and ice are as Forecasts to develop in the affected areas, but accumulations are expected to be light, and the snow and ice will be resulting in slippery conditions on untreated roadways and sidewalks. When temperatures are below freezing, motorists are need to be especially careful on the bridges and overpasses where slippery spots can easily develop. 
How's the weather on the day one today to tonight? Weather advisory and take two for seven. Wednesday for Monday. Winter weather advisory. Okay, take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. Here, for this afternoon, part sun sky about 21 degrees. South wind about five miles per hour. But tonight, still mainly move for 5 a.m. The snow can be there over times. Temperature rise around 25 degrees by 4 a.m. South wind about five miles per hour. Coming in the evening, chance of is 100%. No snow can reach at 2 to 4 inches possible. For Wednesday, chance of snow before 7 a.m. Most of the sun sky about 32 degrees. West wind about 5 to 9 miles per gust size. 20 miles per chance of temperature 30 percent. No snow can reach less than half inch possible. Wednesday, most of the gusts are about 8 above. Northwest wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour. For Thursday, put the sun sky about 21 degrees. North wind about 6 miles per hour. For that, most of the gusts are about 6 above. Friday, put the sun sky about 22 degrees. Friday, most of the gusts are about 4 above. Saturday, sun sky about 26 degrees. Saturday night, most of the clouds are about 8 above. For Sunday, put the sun sky about 35 degrees. Sunday night, chance of snow, most of the clouds are about 27 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40%. And for Monday, chance of rain and snow, most of the clouds are about 40 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40%. Norton temperature is sending at 18 degrees with fair skies. And that's me for the period channel 3 o'clock news in this. February 24th, 2015, on a Tuesday afternoon. Be with you. Have a good evening, and I will see you for a late night report. Have a good day, and go Raptors! Hockey! Have a good evening!